Hey y'all, it's me Charity here at Lady Luck Tutorials on YouTube and today I am going to be doing my perfume collection video. I've always wanted to do a perfume collection video but I just didn't know how to go about doing it. Like, do I just show you my perfume? Do I sit on camera and sniff each bottle and describe it to you? Or am I supposed to just be like, this is just perfume and I like this one, it smells good, okay bye. Yeah, I'm really not sure how you're supposed to go about doing a perfume collection video, so I figured I'm just gonna cut the camera on and I'm gonna show you all of my perfumes, one by one. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and if you're already subscribed then thank you oh so much. And give me a thumbs up for this headband. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so I have perfumes sitting out here. I also have a tub of perfumes, and then I have some other stuff in the drawer. Okay, so I am a huge perfume lover, and I think I have a lot of issues when it comes to perfume because... I just want to buy all the perfume in the world and then I wear it for a while and then I switch it up and I really don't care about what perfume you should wear and what season, what's good for summer, winter, spring, whatever. I just wear whatever I want all year long and yeah, I like to switch it up. So I love perfumes, so let's get started. First, I'm going to show you what's in the tub. Some of these perfumes I've had forever. Some are newer, so I don't know. Um, anyway, so let's get started here. The first thing we have here is a box of variety perfumes from Commodity. And I really think these are unisex. I don't remember if that is a fact or not, but they really are because I wear these and then Alan also likes them because there's feminine scents in here, but there's also a few masculine scents. So this set is from Commodity and there's five different scents here. We've got Tonka. Leather, bergamot, oris, and vetiver. They all have very unique scents and I love them. So if you ever come across any commodity perfumes, make sure and take a sniff of them, girl. I've got another one, another commodity in my drawer that I'll show you in a little bit, but I definitely love their perfumes. So next here we have this Juicy Couture. And actually, a sweet lady named Aunt Sonia got this for me one year and I still have it and I have no clue how much is left in it because you cannot see through this bottle but this bottle is so beautiful I should have this sitting out because it looks like a princess perfume and I'm a princess so yeah but it smells so good I actually want to put it on right now <clears throat> It smells good. What is this? It's Viva La Juicy. I didn't even tell you what that was. It just says Viva La Juicy Noir. I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe it's just Noir. But it smells really good. Next up here we have this gorgeous Victoria's Secret perfume. It is called Love Me. And Alan got this for me for our second Christmas, I think. And I absolutely love the bottle. It's got this little thing here. And pew, pew, pew. Um, actually, the first one I got... The pump ended up breaking, so Victoria's Secret was sweet enough to let me come in and exchange it for a pump that actually worked. So, I love this bottle, and this stuff smells so good, and I love the box it came in, too. This should also be setting out. What am I doing? I've been having these up in my closet. It matches my room. It's so cute. Next here, we've got a Katy Perry perfume, and this is Purr. I got this for one of my birthdays. What birthday was this? It was way before I got married. Maybe I was like 25 or something. Yeah, isn't that super cute? It smells really good. Mm. Ooh, so many memories, girl. This bring back some summer memories. Oh, Lord. Next up, we have Flirt. This is a Flirt perfume, and it is called Flirtatious. You can find these Flirt perfumes at Kohl's, I think. It smells so sweet and good, and the bottle is adorable. See, am I supposed to be, like, sniffing them and describing them to y'all? Because I'm not really good at that kind of stuff, okay? I mean, unless I Googled it and found out what the scents are, I cannot describe these to y'all. So I'm just showing y'all my collection, so chill. Next up, we've got two bottles of Coach. Um, I got this the year of my accident, and it came with this little bottle, too. And my mom got it for me for Christmas. And it brings back, oh my god, so many memories of being in my wheelchair. Yeah, oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I was in a wheelchair for like four months. Okay, I had to learn to walk again. Yeah, that's right. I got in a really bad accident, just in case you didn't know. Broke all kinds of bones. 
Oh, here's the box for the Viva La Juicy Noir. Hey, girl, hey. Next, we've got this Midnight Sparkle. It is from Rue21. My mom got this for me. We fell in love with it. And I remember when Alan first smelled it, he's like, ooh, I like that perfume. You should wear that one. It's really sweet. It actually, you know what? Oh, my God, I'm about to describe a scent for you guys. It smells like orange cream. Like, seriously, it smells like oranges mixed with delicious vanilla ice cream. Oh, and it is called Midnight Sparkle Limited Edition for her from Rue 21. Next up, we've got this Candies perfume. I think I also got this during my accident because when I smelled it, I just remembered like accident. It smells like me rolling around in my wheelchair. It smells like strawberries. It is so good. It's from Candies. Yeah, it was strawberry scented. Oh, we have another strawberry smell here. This is so old that it actually turned color. See, I like, I'm a hoarder. I keep things forever. But this was called Strawberry Fizz, um, and it's from Beauty Rush, Victoria's Secret, and it's a body double mist, so when you spray it on, it smells good, but it's got, like, oils in it, so it, like, moisturizes your skin, girl. I literally, this used to be my signature scent, these two right here, no joke, I would mix them all the time, oh my gosh. So this is Ed Hardy. This is my second bottle of this. Alan got me for our first Christmas because I ran out of it the first time my brother-in-law Justin bought it for me and I wanted another bottle so Alan went down and got it for me for Christmas. This is Ed Hardy and yeah, I don't know which one it is, but mm. oh, I love this perfume. Yes, and I used to mix these, the strawberry with the Ed Hardy and I just thought, girl, I thought I smelled so good. I was like, that's my signature scent. And ain't nobody gonna copy it because ain't nobody know what these two is right now. All right, next up we've got this Harajuku Lovers Little Angels. I actually had a few more of these. What happened to them? I love this. I have to spray. I have to spray. Psh, 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 psh. Oh my god, yes. Okay, I got to tell y'all something. A lot of you ain't gonna remember this because I, I don't know what age range you are, but they used to have a store called Gadzooks, okay? They had a, uh, a perfume in Gadzooks. It was called Princess. I got it when I was like 13 years old. I still have the bottle. It's back home, packed away. I still have the bottle. I've never been able to find this perfume again, okay? And no other smell has ever smelled like that perfume. But this one smells so much like it. And I just love it because it brings me back to being like 13, 14. Girl. Smells good and oh, yeah. So I had a few more of these. I don't know what happened to them, but I love these little perfumes. I don't know what this one. Oh, it says Angel, so this must be Angel. It smells good. Okay, girls, what's up? I got this Justin Bieber perfume, and this smells so good. I love this perfume, and the bottle is so cute. What perfume is this? It's called Someday. Oh my god, I just looked down and seen this bottle and realized I did not tell y'all what this was. I was just like showing you the bottle, talking about being in a wheelchair. Um, this is Coach. Which one? Coach Poppy Blossom. Remember when I was like, wah, wah, wah. okay, Coach Poppy Blossom. And then we got another coach here. This is actually my sister's, but I loved it so much that she gave it to me because she's so sweet. Hey girl, hey Polly. Um, this is also Coach, and I don't know which one this is, though. Coach Poppy Flower. Wait, what was the other one? This is Poppy Flower, and this one is Poppy... I can hear y'all saying it right now. You're like, girl, it's Poppy Blossom. You just said it. So, yeah. Ooh, these smell so good, and they smell really good mixed. I like mixing them. Hey, girl. Hey, I got some J-Lo up in the house. This is J-Lo. Man, what is my problem? Like, I don't even know what my perfumes are called. But this is J-Lo. It got some sticky stuff on the bottom because it's really old. But I love this perfume. And it smells so good. Next, we've got some Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. I also have, like, two other ones of these. But it's back in Texas. Man, I forgot some good stuff back in Texas. But this is Mary Kate and Ashley perfume. They used to sell this. They quit selling it. Uh, years ago, I found it online again. Just had to have it. It's one of my favorite perfumes. Oh, I have got to stop sniffing these perfumes. This was a bad idea because these smells are bringing back so many memories you guys don't even know. If y'all could crawl into my brain right now, you'd be like, We don't want to stay here. Get us out. We don't like your memories. Girl. It reminds me of Easter. My mom got it for me. I remember my Easter basket. I remember I was like 
How old was I? I don't know. <laughs> Girl. Next up, we've got this Victoria's Secret. Alan just got me this last year, and this is Scandalous. And it smells really good. What is that smell? I don't know, but it's called Scandalous, and the bottle's like black, and the color is kind of like purple. I've got three Betsy Johnson perfumes here, okay? These are all Betsy Johnson Tutu. This one has never been open, but okay, y'all don't know this about me, but my nickname is Tutu, okay? Nice to meet you. Yes, my, my nickname is Tutu. It's been Tutu since birth. Um, my dad actually nicknamed me that, so when Betsy Johnson came out with this perfume, look at that big old nasty silver tape holding that together, leaving this nasty residue. Anyway, when Betsy Johnson came out with this, I'm like, oh my god, I have to have it because my name is Tutu. Like, literally, my name's been Tutu since I was born. Everybody calls me Tutu. Y'all didn't even know that. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I did not share that with you. Anyways, these perfumes smell really, really good. And there's two of them. Uh, this one was just... Where the, oh, there it is. This one was just called Tutu, and then the other one was called Tutu Pretty, which was this one. They are so cute, aren't they? And then, of course, I have an additional bottle that my grandma bought me because that's all she calls me. I don't even think she calls me by my name. She don't even call me Charity. She just calls me Tutu, okay? So she got me this, so thank you, Grandma. Next up, we've got this one. This is called Womanity, and it is from the makers that make Angel and Alien. This is a very, very interesting smell. Oh, my God, I just had memories, girl. Most of my, like... Most of my perfumes I get on holidays or like special occasions, so let's say birthday or Christmas. So every one of these smells or like Easter, um, every one of these smells brings me back to like a certain time in my life when I got the perfume, when I loved it. Oh my god, it's making me miss home so bad. Okay, then we've got this Victoria's Secret Desire Girl. There's a little special, special memory to this. Um, my cousin cherry actually got it for me when i first got married and i remember just like spraying this on myself when i got married spraying it in my room girl memories so many good memories isn't it so weird how like a smell or a song or something like can bring you back to a time <laughs> Some memories I don't want to remember though, okay? <laughs> but some just remind me of home or remind me of being with my mom or like I said, my wheelchair. All right, next up we've got this Dahlia D Divine, Divine, I don't know, it's by Givenchy. Uh, my mom actually gave this to me because she got a bigger bottle and she gave me the little bottle and this was actually in my purse because I've been wearing it. It smells good, girl. Thanks, mom. Next up, we've got Nicki Minaj. My cousin just got me this for my birthday, actually. And this is Pink Friday. And it smells really good. And this was also in my purse. Isn't it so cute? Okay, I cannot even put the lid back on this thing because I don't even know how I had it set up. So I'm just going to put this back in my closet and get to my other perfume. Okay, so these were the perfumes that were setting up on my table over there. And then I'm going to have to re-put them up. I don't know if I like doing that, but I'm going to have to. So first off, we've got this pink sweet and flirty body spray alan got me this in hawaii it smells good and fresh um yeah he bought me this in hawaii then i got these kat von d saint and sinner perfumes that i got free from influencer they both smell really good i also have this live irresistible by Givenchy. This smells so sweet and amazing, and I'm pretty sure I got this from Octoly um, for a review. It smells amazing. I really love Givenchy perfumes. I actually worked at the Givenchy perfume counter before. I bet you didn't know that. Y'all are learning so much about me today. Next up, we've got this YSL Black Opium, and this is the Wild Edition. And girl, this stuff smells amazing. It smells really good. And the bottle is just so cute. That's why I keep it out of my dresser. Next up, we've got Guess Girl. Alan actually got me this also in Hawaii for my birthday. And this bottle is almost empty because I wore the crap out of this in Hawaii. Oh my God, I want to spray it on right now. Like, I'm dying to spray all these perfumes on, but when Alan gets home, he'll be like... What have you been doing? Alright, we've got this Abercrombie perfume. This is Abercrombie and Fitch Undone. This is the Match and Lotion. Alan got me this for my second birthday. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Lord Jesus, help me. Our second Christmas. <laughs> My second birthday, as if Alan was even, like, thought of yet. Mm. Anyways. Why am I telling y'all where I got all this from and when I got it and what? Y'all y'all ain't asking for that. Y'all just want to see my collection. Anyways, I'm talking too much. Okay, Alan got me this. And I love it. <laughs> from my second birthday. We've got this bottle of perfume here that's from Walgreens. And it is called Tuba Rose. Taboo, taboo Rose. I'm sorry. I don't know what it's called, but I love it. Oh my god, it smells like roses. And I spray it all in my hair so that my hair smells like roses all day. Um, I have this little baby bottle of Vince Camuto, and it's called Capri, and my cousin Alyssa got me this for Christmas. All right, I got this Escada Born in Paradise. <gasps> my mom got this for me before I got married. Oh, my God. It reminds me of when I first got married. I would wear this every day. Every day. I'm not even kidding. Born in Paradise. It smells so good, and I love the look of the bottle and everything. I just, ha I remember I just had to have this, and the chick on the front always reminded me of Lana Del Rey. I just had to have it. So my cousin Lauren got me this. This is Victoria's Secret Crush, and it's a little roller ball, and it is adorable. It's got like pink lace on it. Next up, we've got this Alien perfume. Best smelling perfume ever. My dad got me this. I love it. Next up, we've got this Kate Spade Live Colorfully. God, I just want to sniff everything. They all smell so good. Alan just got me this for my third birthday, girl. He got me for my birthday this year. My 31st. I mean, my 21st. <laughs> Y'all thought I was 30? Yeah, right. Okay. You dummies. Next up, we've got this pink ready to party because I'm always ready to party. Just kidding. I actually... When did I, who got me this? I don't, I don't know who got me this. But I remember I got this whenever I was in my accident. Yep, rolling around in my wheelchair. And then um, I got my car. Do you guys remember my little white Malibu? I call it the Hello Kitty car. And I would spray this all in my car. I would spray it all over me, all in my car. And that's what it reminds me of. And it also reminds me of when I first started talking to Alan. Because I was actually in my wheelchair when I first started talking to Alan. So this reminds me of Alan. Yay! Okay, y'all. Now it's time for the scent birds. <laughs> okay, so we've got some perfumes here from Scent Bird and Luxury Scent Box. Look, if you don't want to be like me and buy all these perfumes and have all these bottles like hoarded up in your home, then just shop at one of these websites, yo. You get like a month's supply of perfume for really cheap so you can test out perfumes and figure out which one you love the most. And I got a lot down here, so let's just get this over with. We got some Tokyo Light Transformation number three. Mmm, smells good. Got some Commodity Gold. Okay, this is the other perfume I was telling you about. I got this from Simbird. Commodity Gold. It smells so good. Y'all should try this one. I got an empty thing here. Here we've got Versace Bright Crystal. That smells so good and fresh. I got Tous Bonjour Senorita. This one actually smells a lot like the Escada Born in Paradise. No joke. Alright, we also got some Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine. This stuff smells like pure, fresh squeezed oranges. I was wearing this like last week and Alan came home and he's like oh my god you smell so good you smell like oranges we got some vulgari omnia crystalline I think I got that in Hawaii okay we also got some English laundry signature for her girl this one I got this at the same time as commodity gold they oh just amazing I just you gotta smell it so um we also got some Vince Camuto Fiore and and I don't have any more Okay, do I have any more? I don't know. I might, I might not. I feel bad if I like find it later and realize that I missed out on the opportunity to show y'all. Okay, so anyway, this was my perfume collection. I hope y'all liked it. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it was kind of crazy and it was kind of everywhere, but hey, it's my perfume collection. Do you got a problem with that? I can't help you. Anyways, I'm going to end this video because I think, I don't even know how long it is. When I go to edit, I'm going to be like, 30 minute long perfume collection that's not okay all right anyways subscribe to my channel thumbs up for the headband 
tell me what is your favorite perfume because I want to know because I might want to try it and I, and I might want to smell it and then be like, oh my God, that's what she smells like. So yeah, tell me what is your favorite perfume, girl. Let me know down below. Share the love. Let's share the smells together. Ah. I'm going to shut up now. I have to put all of this back over there. So I will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.